Good morning, everybody, and rise and shine on Saturday morning. So thankful to the Lord for the good rains he's been sending. My, my. Just at the right time. Well, tomorrow is Father's Day. And uh, what an awesome privilege. What an awesome responsibility uh, to shape uh, people's lives for the Lord. But I'd like to send uh, greetings out to my two sons this morning, uh, Kenny and Kevin. They are both good fathers. And uh, I am uh, very, very proud of them when I think of uh, the way they treat their families and uh, the example they set as as uh, godly fathers. Now I want to uh, switch the tide for a moment and show you a picture of my dad, okay? Happy Father's Day to my father, Walton Reed, who is in heaven with the Lord. And uh, that was a very young, young picture of him. Stepping over here to this side is a picture of him in his more mature years. And uh, happy Father's Day, Dad. Uh, had a good dad. I can't say that Dad and I always agreed. We uh, were both inoculated uh, with many of the same genes and, uh, many, many times, uh, we butted up against each other, but I can tell you this, we lived long enough to become the very best of friends, the very best of friends. And, uh, I thank God for that. My dad bought me my very first horse when I was 12 years old. <laughs> my dad uh, bought me my first guitar in that same uh, block of time. When I became restless and rebellious, and was determined I was going to go to the West Coast, 2,000 miles away, at 15 years old. I would have walked, I would have hitchhiked, I fully intended to hitchhike. My dad came home with a ticket in his pocket for the train. And, uh, when he put me on the train, I had a ticket in my pocket. So he said he didn't want me standing along the road trying to hitchhike 2,000 miles. And he also had a return ticket. And uh, <laughs> I remember one time when I was out in, in Saskatchewan, 2,000 miles away, my dad put forth the effort and got on that same train and came out to visit me. That was special. From the perspective of Mountaintop Ministries and the calling that God had put on my life to start a church planting here in Pennsylvania in the Buchanan Valley, my dad was used of the Lord in a large way to make that possible. And I thank the Lord for that. I remember when I went on, uh, I went, remember when I went on our honeymoon, Charlotte and I were married. You got to understand, we didn't have, we didn't have any money at all. I remember dad lending me his car to go on our honeymoon. A 
lot of those good memories. I know my sons really respect their grandfather. And uh, so dad in heaven, the Bible says there's a great crowd of witnesses on the grandstands observing what's going on today. I believe you're in that crowd in the grandstands. And I, uh, I bless God for your memory. And uh, we'll be together again someday. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I'd like to post this picture of uh, some very special people in my life. On the right is my father. In the middle in the chair is my grandfather, Nathan Reed, who is holding our first son, Kenny Reed. And uh, on the left of the chair is yours truly, Ken Reed. That was uh, one of our visits to Canada. And uh, I just wanted to post that in memory of Father's Day and my grandfather and my father. Uh, I wish them both a happy Father's Day in heaven. God bless you. Amen.